Hello, I'm Gundula. Every day when I come to work, I drive past these pasture lands in the lower part of Babylon's Turin. We call these areas Ritzlei, and there's these water buffalo. And when they stand near the fence, I always just pause because they're just so adorable. I'm very lucky that Alta Ebers, the cheesemaker on our farm, has invited me here to see the whole milking process. And then she'll later take us to the cheese room where she's making water buffalo mozzarella. So I'm very lucky. This is a new venture we have on the farm. There are very few farms in South Africa that have water buffalo. And it's been a long, enduring process for her to figure out how to make these special cheeses. To make buffalo mozzarella, we receive our milk early in the morning from Ritfly. We take the fresh buffalo milk, put it into the cheese vats and heat it up until 38 degrees. We add our culture and wait another 40 minutes to make sure that the culture is working and multiplying. We then add our microbial rennet and wait a few minutes until the herd has set. We cut it into hazelnut size cubes and wait another few hours until the correct pH is reached. When the correct pH is reached, we drain the whey from the curds and start to salt the curd by hand. We then stretch it with 100 degrees water into tiny little holes which we place in a brine. After 24 hours, it is perfect to enjoy. Alta, why do you like using buffalo milk? I love buffalo milk because of its beautiful color. It's completely white and in Italy, when they used the buffalo milk to make mozzarella, they used to call it the pill of the table or white gold. It's also very high in proteins, fats and calcium and it gives a bigger yield at the end of cheese making. It was really interesting watching you stretch that mozzarella in the cheese rooms. Why do you do that? To stretch the cheese, it's quite a special process that we have to master because the way that we have to stretch it is to work the moisture into the cheese and also to hand shape it. So if you use the correct method in the stretching, you have a nice soft end result. You make so much mozzarella, but what is your favorite way of using it? Oh, my favorite is in many ways. I want to show you today how we're going to make a nice caprese salad from fresh buffalo mozzarella balls, which you can buy in the farm shop, as well as a mozzarella roll made from fresh waterblomicky pesto and tomato. 